In the wake of the devastating Wine Country wildfires, people from a fire-ravaged mobile home park are suing their insurance companies. Now, they say they cannot get help because their homes didn't burn down. KPI X5's Emily Turner has the story from the Journey's End mobile home park in Santa Rosa. Some houses stand, most burned down, but since debris removal, Journey's End Mobile Home Park and the lives of those who lived there are just as much in limbo as the days after the fire. Basically, this has been the year of living in a question mark because no one has an answer. Yvonne lived in the park for 30 years. Her house survived but isn't livable. None of the surviving units are, thanks to the fire. But despite the damage, she can't get money from Foremost, her insurance company, and has had to get help from Legal Aid Sonoma. They're claiming that they don't have to pay out on those claims because the park, the mobile home park, was closed due to, quote, government action. Well, in fact, the park was closed by the city and the state because the fire destroyed it. Yvonne has stage four renal failure after three fights with cancer. She moved 11 times just this year and simply wants to be made whole. Where's the integrity? And she isn't the only one. Legal Aid says there are about 33 homeowners in Journey's End with houses still standing. Almost 30 of those face the same problem as Yvonne and 13 of them insured by foremost. These are the folks that are the worst off of all the survivors. You know, the folks that have the lowest income, they're elderly, they're disabled, and here they are getting uh, stonewalled by their insurance company. The problem is so widespread with so little movement from the insurance companies that Legal Aid is taking the next step, starting with founders. Legal Aid plans to file a complaint with the Department of Insurance for bad faith business practices, hopefully launching an investigation into the practice and getting payouts for all. It would be nice to be able to go somewhere and start over again. And I can't start over again because all my assets are tied up in a home that I can't live in, sell, or move. Emily Turner, KPIX 5. We did reach out to Foremost for a comment. We received an out of notice from their spokesperson. We're going to keep trying to get their side of the story.